What is up y'all, it's tfollow43 and we're back with another video and what we have here is another unboxing video. So, I saw these on Nike, was able to get them on release day and this is actually my first time actually buying this player's uh, signature shoe. So, uh, let's actually go ahead and jump into this uh, unboxing. So I saw them, actually I, I saw them and I liked them and I said, you know what, let me go ahead and get these. The shoe is different, I must say that. It is a different type of shoe, but uh, uh y'all can give me y'all comments in the comments field. Let me know how y'all feel about these. So y'all can see it's the bottom of the box. Okay, so you got receipts and all that. So this box is actually from Nike. Shout out to Nike for having these. So you'll see there, it's a Nike box. You see that these are a pair of Kobe's by the Kobe logo, and these are the Kobe IX Elite Premium. All right, so let me actually open them, open them up, and look at them. Actually, let's get a couple details on this box. It's a really nice box, y'all. So I guess uh, his signature in purple right there, a reflective purple like that. Let me actually take a look at these. And okay, okay. So I'll definitely say this is the most subtle version of this particular shoe or the particular name of the shoe. So let me actually put the box down and take the shoe off the box and get both of them ready for y'all. Huh, so it's the first that they're identical. So as you'll see that these are the uh, What the Kobe's. All right, and uh, one thing that points out to me right away is that both shoe are identical to each other. So this probably is the most uh, let's say the most conservative what the series So these shoes are definitely identical to each other. They're very symmetrical to each other But uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool light colorway You know probably could go with anything <laughs> Looks like a lot of pastel colors on here Yeah, but uh, the overall design of the shoe I think is pretty cool um, I don't know how this is gonna work as a lifestyle shoe as far as uh, I guess wearing them with denim or, or wearing them with joggers. I don't know how that's gonna actually look uh, But uh, we'll play around with it and see if uh, they can look good I've seen other people wear them and, and they look fairly good. I wouldn't I wouldn't personally wear these with shorts I feel like the shoe is just way too high to wear them with shorts, but wearing them with denim Maybe have the denim come over the shoe. I don't know uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try them out and see I see how it goes so Let me actually get you guys pictures of the bottom So yeah, this shoe, the technology behind this is, is just so cool, you know, how we have this fly knit material and it's stiffer in some areas, or the, the weave pattern is tighter in some areas than others. So you'll know that around the toe cap, it, it's a very tight pattern, but right over, right on the top of the toe cap, it, it's more of a looser uh, pattern to make it more breathable and more flexible. Um, right here is a bit of a reflective material here. You know, honestly, I, I think it's a pretty dope. You know, what I mean, a nice change of pace. I'm um, showing the bottom, uh, the back uh, portion of the shoe. So uh, these, I believe, it's nine stripes here. Yes, these nine stripes here. These are supposed to represent his uh, his stitches that he received uh, uh, when he had his, uh, I believe, his, his Achilles tendon uh, injury. So he had actually uh, he had stitches there, so that's what that represents there. And as you'll see, actually go back here, KB 9th. This is my first time actually seeing this shoe, and I think it's pretty cool. I'm ready to actually try them on. If y'all want to see a uh, an on foot look, uh, let me know in the comments field, and I can I can start to incorporate that uh, in my videos. On feet, you know. What I mean, if y'all don't want on feet, then I won't do on feet. But if y'all do, then I will. Let's look at the other shoe, which is yep, pretty much identical. I don't see anything different. I actually take out this it's on the inside. And this is a very high shoe, and as you'll see, we have a, a very. 
I apologize for that, y'all. Once again, my camera cut out on me. It's, a, it's not a good day with my camera. How about I say that? So as you'll see, that is a colorful pattern on the inside, which is pretty cool. And the insole is uh, is a blue color, almost like a Carolina blue on the insole. Lace tips are, are separate colors, as you can see there. But overall, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool shoe, you know what I mean? For me, it's a big uh, change of pace. You know what I mean? I do wish I could have copped uh, probably a couple of the earlier pair of uh, Kobe's that came out, but either it wasn't conflicting with a pair of Jordans that released. So I'll, I'll, I'll put a pair of Jordans over mostly any shoe that, that's coming out. So, you know, these uh, Kobe's that they, you know I mean? This style of Kobe pretty much had back burner on, on the Jordans that released in uh, the later half of 2013. But I am happy to have this shoe though. All right, y'all, please rate this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Um, if you didn't like it, give it a, give me a comment. Let me know why you didn't like it. And uh, subscribe so y'all can catch all my latest videos, y'all. And until the next time, peace.